Hey, what's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newbert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we are going to discuss three types of personality-based kettlebell fat loss programming and which one of the three will work the best for you. All right, so let's dig into this. First, let me ask you a question. Have you ever used a fat loss program, kettlebell or otherwise, that didn't work? Well, I think if you're like most of us, that's pretty common. Now, here's another question. You ever wonder why that is? I have a lot, actually. And to be quite honest, I think that it's based upon your personality or, you know, commonly our personalities. Okay. Now, I'm not the first person to notice this. Other strength coaches like the late Charles Poliquin categorize personalities based upon things like Chinese medicine. Another Canadian strength coach has categorized workout personalities based upon neurotransmitter dominance. Me? Well, I'm just not that sophisticated. So I just go on gut. Now, here's what I mean. Over the decades, I've noticed that there are three predominant types of fat loss training, okay? Which one of them feels right to you? Which one of these sounds the most appealing? And which one, when you're honest with yourself, is the kind of program that you're actually going to do, right? As opposed to the one that, which sounds the most sexy, and you'll have to talk yourself into doing it once it actually comes down to getting the work done, right? So number one, do you like lifting heavy stuff? Then you'll probably do best with what I call a strength-based or power-based fat loss program. That's the one that uses fairly heavy weights and manipulates rest periods to create conditions for fat loss. Okay, it's typically what we call burn-free. In other words, you're not going to experience that lactic acid burn, a lot of muscle congestion, or a huge pump, okay? Uh, and if you do get a, a little burn, it's going to be a little burn. And if you do get a pump, it's going to be mild at best. But the training itself is actually strenuous enough to burn significant calories while you're engaged in it. And more often than not, two things happen post-workout. One, your metabolic rate stays elevated, meaning that you burn more calories even when you're not working out. And two, the restoration or recovery process actually requires the use of excess or stored calories. Okay? So that's type number one. Type number two, ask yourself this question. Do you like challenges? Mentally taxing stuff that forces you to embrace the suck, right? Quotes, embrace the suck. You know the kind, heart pounding, lung gasping, muscles screaming, you have to find a way to will yourself to keep going to finish your set type workouts. Yeah, then you'll probably do best with what I call GH dominant fat loss programming. That's the sort of program categorized by longer work periods that induce a growth hormone or GH or HGH, if you will, response through the release of lactic acid, which is then buffered into lactate. You'll definitely feel the burn on these types of workouts and you'll also really suck wind on these types too. And when you use the right loads, these types of programs also tend to keep your metabolism significantly elevated after your workouts are over. And that of course means you're burning more calories at rest than you're normally used to. All right, so that's type number two. Type number three, ask yourself this question. Do you like both of the previously aforementioned types and hate being forced to pick between the two? Well, then you will most likely do better with what I call a hybrid style program. And that's the type of program that mixes the two kinds of aforementioned training together. Okay. So what does that mean really? Well, that means there's some heavy lifting involved and there's also some GH producing work involved too. And you'll need to have both in order to not feel like you're missing out, okay? So the key to success then on this type of training is balancing your training between those two styles. Now, if you're interested in any one of these three styles, I will leave links for the programs that match your own personal style, which you identified hopefully through this, this video. And I'll leave those links in the description below this video. So, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's it behooves us always wanted to say that word behooves, right? It behooves us to take the great Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius's advice. Know thyself. It is the key to succeeding on a kettlebell fat loss program or quitting another one yet again. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click the like button, smash the subscribe button, share it with us, share it with a friend. Uh, I almost said share it with somebody you care about. And that could be a friend too, okay? So, and leave me a comment in the, the comment section below. All right, until next time, everyone. Stay strong.